again. My name is David Warren and this is the Refuge City Radio. I want to thank you for tuning in for this episode. I want to talk to you today about you and who God has made you. The book of Ephesians tells us that we are God's workmanship, that he has prepared works in advance for us in Christ Jesus, that we may walk in these deeds. Now there are a couple truths I want to bring out in this scripture. Number one, we were his workmanship. And as a work of art, um, all works of art are expressions of the heart of the artist. When we criticize negatively a work of art, in reality, not just, oh, sort of, maybe, kind of, but in reality, we're criticizing the artist. If I were to show you one of my paintings and you were to talk only negatively about it, I would take it personally, and that's just the way it is. The same is true when we talk negatively about ourselves. We were made by God. We're made in His image. The same is true when we talk negatively about other people. I'm not talking about just putting up with faults and sin. I'm talking about this constant negative attack against ourselves and who we are and our makeup and those around us. It's not fitting for those who are of the kingdom of heaven, those who are children of the living God, to have this opinion of themselves and of their brothers and sisters. Because we're his workmanship. We're created in Christ Jesus okay, for, for really good things. And that's the second thing I want to bring out of this scripture. The, the fact that he created the works for us to do uh, is not wasted on me because uh, I often had the misconception that I was created for the works. But I think even thinking that they're just created for me is a little short-sighted too. And the beautiful thing about this, this, this makeup is, is that it's just like when a song was created for a singer, but the singer was also created for the song. A book was created for a writer, and that writer was created for the book. And it's that in that relationship that we find our purpose and our full, full life in God. He's created these works not because we were bored, and he didn't create us just because, oh, there was something that needed to be done. Created them both so that we could fully be alive in Him, so that we could experience Him in a deeper way, so that we'd be drawn closer to Him. He loves you. Bless you, Tri State. Keep on watching.